Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. All right, so we're going to talk about the collision theory. And the collision theory comes into play when you're talking about reactions and actually what happens in a reaction and how a reaction actually goes from the, pro the reactants all the way to the products. So the first thing you're going to have to, we're going to have to discuss is that fact that the reacting substances, whatever we're dealing with, the atoms, ions, or molecules, must collide in order for the reaction to occur. Okay, that seems pretty obvious. So we have our two, rea our two reactants, A and B, and they must collide. And this is uh, what we're going to call our activated complex, uh, or our transition state. So going from transitioning from the reactants towards the products. And it's going to create this, uh, this independent, very high energy activated complex, and then yield our products, our 2AB. So uh, the, first, the first postulate is that they must come together. OK, that's easy enough. Uh, the second one says the reactant substances must collide with sufficient energy in order to form that activated complex. Because this activated complex is extremely high and very high in energy, very unstable. So um, we must, they must collide with a certain amount of energy to get to this point. If they don't collide with, this, with a good amount of energy, then they're actually not going to react at all. Um, so that, act that energy is going to be called our activation energy to get to our activated complex. And you might see the symbol E with the subscript A. Um, to create, to make that, to denote that. And the last thing in the, in the collision theory is that reacting substances must collide with the correct orientation. Um, so if they, collide, they had made a collision um, at an orientation that wasn't great for them, they would actually rebound off each other and not react at all. Um, but if they did, they had to make sure they line up correctly and then um, for the, re the correct reaction site to occur. And then they get their activated complex, yay, and then the reactants form the products. Um, so these three things are the basis of the collision theory and how reactions, um, how reactants go from reactants to the products. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here, or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>